number one Iron Age booty daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Expendables 4 has been announced. I just got off work. I didn't even know it was announced, and I saw the trailer. And I want to go through some of the good, bad, and the ugly of kind of my thoughts of what I saw in the trailer when I saw it. Now, I'm a huge fan of the Expendables. In fact, <clears throat> I've probably seen the Expendables more times than I should be proud to admit. But I absolutely loved the first one. I thought we were getting a little bit on the downhill with the second one and entering some of the meme lord stuff with all of the callbacks and the 80s action jokes that they had. And it really lost me when Chuck Norris decided to make a Chuck Norris joke. That kind of took me out of the movie. But overall, it was still a fun time. The third movie, I watched it once. And I just probably won't watch it again so those are my thoughts i think the first one's great the second one is mid and the third one is not worth talking about and we can move on from those three so where am i landing with the expendables for well first of all based off of what we saw in the trailer it's the expendables so we're definitely going to get the classic high octane action and I'm honestly, it didn't look bad in the trailer. Overall, it from the little bit that we saw, I actually thought it looked pretty good. I think that Jason Statham and Sylvester Stallone on screen together, those guys have always had a really great chemistry ever since the first one. So in a roundabout way, that's actually, I'd like to see those two in other movies together uh, instead of um, in The Expendables. And I'll, I'll get into why here in a minute. Uh, they're bringing in new characters in the movie, which can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how they play them. Apparently, 50 Cent. It, F Fitty? Fitty's coming back, huh? That's a, <laughs> boy, that's a name that I haven't, you know, heard in a in a long time, but yeah, so 50 Cent's gonna be in this as well as Megan Fox, and that kind of gets me to what I'm worried about. So Megan Fox, obviously a lot of us got introduced to her through the Transformers movies, and then she went off and did some other movies uh, from there that I just haven't seen. I really know her from really the Transformers movies. Now, from what I'm to understand, she doesn't necessarily have the best reputation um, as far as you know working with her. And a lot of people who like movies and stuff just really aren't a fan of her personally if you've kept up with the tabloids. But overall, that's really not what worries me. What worries me is how they introduce this. Apparently, in the trailer, and if you guys haven't seen the trailer, spoilers now, please get the hell out of here if you care about spoilers. I don't care about spoilers, get out. Get out, come back later, go watch the trailer, then come back and watch this video. What worries me about this is that you see <clears throat> Jason Statham and Megan Fox, and they're in apparently, apparently in a relationship, and they're kind of, I don't know if they're play fighting or whatever, but it's kind of that whole like, oh, assassins love to beat the hell out of each other when they're a relationship, because it makes it hot, right? That's kind of one of those scenes. But what worries me is how much they're gonna girl boss it up. Now, I would really hope that they don't because I haven't seen a history of Sylvester Stallone movies where they do a lot of the girl boss stuff. I do know for a while he was thinking of doing an Expendables, a female version of the Expendables. Thank God they didn't do that because that would have been bad, especially during the time period. However, it is to note that they are pushing her in the trailer. They are pushing her as a main character. She definitely had a lot of front uh, a screen there with the guys following behind her in some of these scenes. So that does have me a little worried that um, not uh, not necessarily that she's going to be able to handle her own, but that she's going to just be overpowered, right, in comparison to her male counterparts. And that's something that I think we should still be worried about. My biggest concern with this movie is, believe it or not, Sylvester Stallone. Now, I just got done watching Tulsa King a few months ago with my wife, and Sylvester Stallone in that role is undeniably fantastic. The guy, just about every role that he does, just commands the screen. He is fantastic. He just has a presence. The guy's 76 years old and built like, well, he's built like a brick S house. I can't say that in videos. YouTube is cracking down on my swearing, and as a construction worker, it's hard. But... 
Sylvester Stallone, very, very physically fit, but he's also 76 years old. And even though being physically fit, you're still 76. So what worries me is how they're going to be using stunt doubles in this. Is it going to look good? And how much of this movie is Stallone actually going to be taking part in the action? I mean, I know in the first expendable, Stone Cold Steve Austin crashed him through a wall and actually split the back of Sly's head open, but he was also, what, in his 50s at that point and still getting really brutally beaten up during that movie. So what worries me about this movie is going to be the storytelling, the narrative around Megan Fox's character, how they decide to handle the female assassin, the female expendable moments, and how they decide to handle her character, and then also Sylvester Stallone's age, and if they do it well enough that it doesn't come across on screen. Now, the action from what I saw looked pretty decent. Um, I think that, you know, throwing in those little things, like I said, we're getting 50 cent in this movie. I don't know if I've ever seen him in a role, maybe once or twice in my life, but it's been many years. I do hope that he absolutely comes out and just kills the role. I think I, I, that'd be great uh, to see that because I do love my action movies, but there are some glaring concerns here, specifically when it comes to the age of Sylvester Stallone and some story beats. Overall, the first Expendables was fantastic. It is a classic action movie, in my opinion, and it is a movie that I still watch to this day. I know friends of mine are like, oh, but it's just a stereotypical action. Shut up. Shut up, eat your popcorn, drink a beer, and watch some stuff explode, right? The first Expendables was absolutely fantastic, and I kind of thought the third one was bad enough that they should have just left it. But apparently, Hollywood's running out of money, so we need to get some star power back on the screen in order to make uh, make some of that coin back. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think about my thoughts and what did you guys think about seeing the trailer? Are you excited for The Expendables 4? Are you going to go see it? I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to go see it. Probably going to go see it. I just, mm. And if you guys liked this video, make sure to do me a fantastic favor and like this video, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell for me. That would be fantastic to see you guys do that. And as always, until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.